In this video, I'll explain you SAS array, its syntax and a workout example. You will learn how to define it, how to use it and how does it work? How does it help? To make sure that you understand its usage in a proper way, I am going to explain you everything through example. Let me show you an example. The data goes like this. Here you have 40 agents, 40 salesmen and you have their sales figure that how much they have sold in each month. So in January salesman 1 has sold 52 item, 93 item like that. Now the task is fairly complicated in this case. The task goes like this. Find the month for each salesman when he sold maximum. So if you look at this salesman had sold maximum and that you have to figure out only between July 15 to June 16. So your whole period is only this to this. So you have to find out in which month he has done maximum. If you look at this person, he has done maximum in February 16. You have also make need to make a note of the maximum month. If the maximum month for any reason is in two period is same, take the first period. So essentially, if at all you are talking of only three period, 165, 165, then take July 15 as the first month when the maximum has occurred. If it is same in any two of the month. The third is you have to find four months average prior to the maximum sale along with the period. So for this case, you will say the four month average prior average is actually 57.25 and you will say it has occurred between October 15 to Jan 16. And you need to do the same thing for post period. You need to say it has occurred between March 16 to June 16 and the average is 153.75. And then you need to calculate ratio of post by pre. So if you look at task wise, it's a fairly complicated. What I have done here, I imported this data in SAS. That process anyway is very much same as the way you import anywhere. And here I have the data. Let me show you how does my data look like. Obviously very much the way it is in Excel. So you have salesman and they are spent their sales in these periods. Now let's go ahead and let me show you a lengthy way by which I can achieve this and then you will be able to appreciate the usage of array even more. So what I have done, look at, I can do in an iterative way. So what I can do maximum is here. And then I can say if August is more than July, make August as maximum. And then go next. If September is more the maximum of this period, make September as maximum and make a note of September. So look at what I am doing here. I have done it this way, max figure July 15, max month July 15, this is a text. If August is more than max figure, max figure takes the value of August 15 and max mark takes the figure of August 15. And here it is if, look at here again it is if, so it is not else. So every thing will get executed and you can keep writing it and that's how you can find when it is the maximum month is occurring. I can show you it works. However, it will work only for July, August and September. Let me show it to you. So if I'm going to run it, it will find out between July, August and September, which is the best month. And it will also find the month name. So look at, it has found out that max figure is 166 and max month is 1 se September 15. And look at, it's the case. You know, if you're talking of only these three period, September 15, 166. In case of the second record will say 165, those records are same, take the first one and that's why if you look at for first, second one it says 165 is max figure and July 15 when it has occurred. So it is working. But look at what will happen. You will end up writing this, you know, for each and every month. And then you have to find first four, last four, actually it will become a lengthy code. You have to find even the period. So let me show you a smart way of doing that. A smart way is actually using the SAS array. And let me show you how the SAS array makes it just a three line code. So what I've done here, here I defined SAS array. 
so first array is amount and look at january 15 february 15 march 15 these are actually the variable name which it is taking look at i haven't put any comma here and next i defined actually a text array where you look at july jan 15 i put quotes here everywhere and there is no comma in between and these are you know jan to december 24 size this is also 24 size but this will contain the value of variable and this will contain just the text then i define max figure july max july 15 7 understand one thing amount 1 will refer this amount 2 will refer this amount 3 will refer this because i need to just figure out between this to this period i am starting from here so this is 7 because if you look at 1 2 3 4 5 6 similarly this is 6 so 7 8 9 10 11 12 so if i am going from 10 to 18 this is where i need to find maximum and that i am able to achieve by just one line 8 to 18 if amount i is more than max figure max figure takes amount i max month month i and max position whatever is the position of i and then look at my pre and post how easy it becomes i know max position in this case if you look at the first record the max position will actually come at 14th position so what you need to do 10 11 12 13 take the average of these four and you can take the name also like that 10 to 13 it will give you the value and that's what i have done here so if you look at pre-average minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 and it will work for each and every record and pre-period you need just a minus 4 and minus 1 position because you like to say October 15 to Jan 16 and for post what you like to say again you will take the 4 take sum and divide by 4 and you will say period plus 1 to period plus 4 that will give you May, March 16 to June 16 that's what I have done here plus 1 to plus 4 and then pre post ratio anyway same and let me show you it works exactly in a very simple step it works so look at it found out that maximum month has occurred february 16 max position is 14 pre period is october 15 to january 16 and post period is March 16 to June 16 average 57 153 and 2 point so everything exactly the way we are doing it has created and for each and every record and you are able to do that by just a small code so I hope that has explained you that how a complicated task became fairly simple by use of SAS array the code is available to download look in the resource area there is a hyperlink which will take you to the SAS array code you can download thank you you should subscribe to this channel so that you remain updated whenever i post new video